He smashed his head against steel doors before matches was yep. proof of this. <laughs> <laughs> All I saw was CTE right there. <laughs> All I saw was CTE. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out top 10 no sellers in wrestling history by wrestling flashback. I've been looking forward to checking this video out for the past few days. I've just been busy with uh other videos, you know, that I wanted to check out as well. But this particular one, I've been looking forward to it, man. So Man, we about to sit back, relax, and enjoy this one. Wrestling Flashbacks always has the great videos. And this one I know is going to be a good one as well. Appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on the channel. Let's get right into this one, man. I'm looking forward to it. Is this on? No selling is a trope that shows just how wacky wrestling can get. Yeah. For this video... That clip, it's just, and don't get, don't get it twisted. WWE has done certain segments where wrestlers should be selling and they're not selling, you know, like doing back-to-back -back finishes and stuff like that. It's not a good look. It takes you out of it, me personally. And just all those Canadian destroyers, bro, that, uh, it, it, it looks bad. It, it, it looks bad. Me personally, it's like, come on, man. Come on, guys. Come on. Here we'll be looking at those who frequently no sold offense in the ring, but rather than wrestlers who poorly sold a certain spot over the course of a match, we're highlighting those immediate in the moment no sells in American wrestling that found a spot over the course of a match. We're highlighting those immediate in the moment no sells in American wrestling that fans either loved or hated. Mm -hmm. oh, and he has down. oh my! Yes, he Bro. Look at that chair. Just that that dent on that chair represents full force CTE, bro. Oh my God. He does. Look at that chair. Today we list the top 10 wrestlers who no sold their opponents. An honorable mention goes to the legendary luchador, Mil Mascaras. It was once said that it was a good thing Mascaras sold tickets because he never sold anything else. <laughs> Jack could be setting him up for that big elbow. Oh. We've seen him do it before. The elbow right off the apron of the ring. He's setting him up for it. But Young Cassius Jack, man. We'll also give a nod to what? Bruiser Brody, he... who was notorious for not wanting... Did he just get right back up? He just got right back up and said, fuck it. ...to do jobs. And this too played into how he reacted to opponent's offense. Brody was adamant about not looking weak so as to protect his aura as an unbeatable monster. Mucha sangre, <laughs> Number 10. Oh, yeah. No, he, he wasn't selling nothing at all. Brock Lesnar. Lesnar has often been commended for his tremendous ability to sell other wrestlers' offense. That's the thing. It's crazy because Brock will sell. He will sell like a million bucks depending on the situation. You know, he. I've seen him plenty of times flop around and get busted open. He will sell for certain people depending on the match and the situation and this, you know, what they're trying to, what story they're trying to sell or uh, tell, he will sell for you. I've seen it. But it was also fun to see the Beast completely shrug off what his opponents throw at him. This was less common in Brock's first run with WWE. Oh yeah, that's wild, bro. Oh it became my more God. frequent, however, after Lesnar conquered the UFC. This made sense since wrestlers were now going to have an even tougher time taking Brock down following his success in yeah. MMA. Yeah. Oh, this match. Oh, Lesnar's cheek and eye starting to swell up. Reigns now with a big clothesline. Lesnar's still on his feet. And again, still on his feet. Come get me. He kicked out. Not even a two count. And then he got, yep, he got right back up like nothing happened. Like, bro, what? <laughs> oh my god! Number nine, Goldberg. Yep, makes on top sense. Of being he's on a this freak list. Hybrid athlete, Goldberg's unstoppable booking in WCW made fans believe he was impervious. To bro, the nigga literally almost died doing this segment, bro. He legit broke a limousine glass 
with the tin on it and everything, busted through it with his forearm and damn near died because he cut up his arm so bad. It's fucking wild. The pain. The way he smashed his head against steel doors before matches was yep. proof of this. <laughs> I saw was CTE right there. <laughs> That's all I saw was CTE. <laughs> that was a right cross. He's standing. He's alive. Yep, here, right back up. Up, oh, right back up. But that's the thing. That was his gimmick. Just a couple moves, a dominant force, jackhammer, spear combo, bada boom, bada bing. That's it. He he was not there to have a five star classic. His gimmick was to get in there, destroy you, hit you with a spear, hit you with a jackhammer. You can hit him with a couple moves. He's gonna no sell. Get right back up and destroy you some more. Can't eat your heart out. He hit him with a stop sign. He did that, bro. Oh, my goodness. It's a greater one. Who does he? He's ever gotten out of this. And he goes down. He goes down. Just thinking he won it. It's not over yet. He. Taking the Undertaker's arrest in peace. So, Undertaker with a right on the jaw. And Goldberg with a spear. Goldberg's a triple. He got right. Yep. That, Goldberg was so. That shit was cool. I ain't gonna lie to you. That that sequence they had at WrestleMania that year. Famous for no selling. That when he actually sold during his match with DDP at Halloween Havoc, it shocked everyone. Can he get it? However, Goldberg was actually hurt for real on this occasion after concussing himself with a spear. Number eight, it's Kane. Crazy, the big bro. red machine resembled a horror movie villain that couldn't be destroyed. Yep. Bro, oh, Kane, yeah, early Kane, early Kane, even when he took his mask off for a little bit, bro, he was just an unstoppable for force, but when he first came into the scene in WWE with that gimmick, oh, bro, he scared me as a kid. After all the stuff Kane had been through in his life, it seemed impossible to hurt him anymore. The Undertaker hitting Kane with all his guns. Kane still will not go down. Plant right to Spencer. And Steven Richards tried the Steven kick. It didn't even. <laughs> he made it all the more believable when he no sold. Yeah. And just when wrestlers thought they'd got him, Kane would see. Up. The biggest no sold in the business. And oh my God, that's a lot of weight. I can't believe that Kane's been. Oh my God. Christian Dusser coming out of inside the ring. And in certain situations, it works to no sell. Certain wrestlers can pull off the no sell. These guys were larger than life. It made sense that sometimes a finisher would not stop them. A weapon wouldn't stop them because they're larger than life legit. You would have to really add some force. You would really have to hit them multiple times to take them out. Yep, the sit up. <laughs> Number seven, Ultimate Warrior. No yep. selling was a key part of the Warriors character. I know Hulk Hogan's gonna be on this list. The question is, will he be number one, y'all? Let's find out together. Especially for when those who haven't seen the, the video yet. Well, wait a minute, you can feel it now, Hot Rod. Yep. It's burning. The <laughs> Somehow, the Ultimate Warrior. <laughs> Bro, he is no selling. Bro, he's charged up. Look at this. <laughs> this gave the warrior his powers, while the subsequent reaction from the fans gave him his energy, all of which built to the big finish. Yeah. You got right back up. 
I can't believe that. The Warrior saved his most egregious no cells for WrestleMania. Goes the Warrior and a scoop slam. <laughs> He got right back up, bro. Warrior once kicked out of five the Triple H, elbow a young. Damn, what he said, five? Goddamn. But the fact that he kicked, kicked out to a young Triple H at the time, it's crazy. Him doing the pedigree and then five elbow drops. Warrior once kicked out of five Macho Man elbow drops. He's on his feet after five. Look at Number six, Taz. As a no-nonsense straight shooter, Taz quite literally said F you to his opponent's move. Yeah. What a power by the challenger! Taz is up! <laughs> oh. This version of the character came about after Taz broke his neck in 1995. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh. Powerbomb with authority, Taz is back up! Oh my god. No, Taz is up. He became an angry man that said F the world while not taking any crap from whomever he shared the ring with. And Lawler, the master of the, the pile driver, looking for it. And Taz just got pile driven and he's right back up. And he just got Taz. He gets oh, right back up, man. Taz's no selling was later passed down to his son Hook in All Elite Wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he does the same thing too. Number five, Road Warriors. The Road Warriors were renowned no sellers who made not registering offense a key part of their act. Uh -huh. They had this aura about them that, you know, that they were invincible. Oh my goodness. Sometimes. Hey, he hooked it right up. Especially Hawk, who seemed to be immune to pile drivers amongst other moves. Ooh, what a blow. Wow. Didn't seem to even phase it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. And look out the pile driver. And uh-uh. That's not going to affect that heavily thick muscle. No, no. King. That's crazy. Driver. Just gets oh, right back up. And Hawk. Oh, no. Pick up. Yeah. Nope. And that don't fade home. No, no, that no. neck. Exactly. Not on to the floor. He got. Look at this. Bro, fight. he got right back up. Just. Uh, eh. mm. On the floor. <laughs> Bing is no cup, Scott, pal. Oh, oh man. Oh, no. Look at that. Hawk's double finisher no sell versus RVD and Kane on Raw in 2003 was said to have cost the Road Warriors future bookings in WWE at the time. Hawk would pass only a few months later, meaning the duo never got a definitive final run as a team. Number four, Damn. Samoan wrestlers. Samoan wrestlers are famous for their hard heads that have allowed them to brush off more attacks than most. And the hard hit. And, <laughs> and there's that turnbuckle power bomb. Superman punch. Wow. No, what? Get out of the ring. Flying hit. Solo oh, definitely God. don't be selling. An unwritten rule of wrestling is that you should never headbutt a Samoan, as their skulls were said to be much denser, making head attacks against them useless. And oh, not gonna work either. <laughs> so basically being a Samoan just makes you uh impervious to attacks. He just said Samoans, but let me put you in there. Fuck it. Y'all don't be selling anyway, because y'all Samoan. Like literally because of your blood and DNA, I'm you don't have to sell. <laughs> Trinkers showing you at times that they are impervious to pain. Rikishi's head, obviously harder than the Undertaker. You got that right. That's not a smart move there, Undertaker. It's the one-man rock band. See there? Now there's the mistake. You can't headbutt a Samoan. <laughs> Samoans are known historically to have very hard cranium. The crafty road dog. That's what I'm... <laughs> 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 
Bryson Walla. That's funny, bro. Has been on a string of oh, that was smart. The only wins he's seen recently. Although not a Samoan, Tongan wrestler Meng is considered one of the toughest men in the history of the business. And this was reflected in how he was portrayed on screen. It's like hitting a brick wall. And Duggan, the big headbutt maybe. Yes. <laughs> Wait a minute. Jesus. Oh my God. Bro, and the, his glasses didn't even come off. That's the crazy thing. Even his glasses no sold the chair shot. Jimmy Hart's got a chair. Wrong head, wrong chair. Oh, How Jimmy. about that? He wants no soul being sprayed by Mace, something that was alleged to have happened in real life during a scuffle with police. Look at, they've got Mace. That, almost challenging him to spray in his eyes. He uses that for the owner. Number three, Jeez. The Undertaker. In the early part of his career, had to be on no selling too. added to the mystique of his gimmick as an undead wrestler. Bam Bam's not backing off, is he? Yes, he was. And a right hand by Bam Bam. And another one. As his career progressed, the dead man maintained numerous supernatural elements that first yeah. debuted with the original character. You wait a minute for the hard look out. Kick my ass. And Irwin, I forgot to tell you, didn't even affect him. I thought the Undertaker was walking tall here. Oh, oh look. look. Yeah, he thought he was going. I remember that when he did it the first time. It was, it was, bro. That was such a crazy moment. Maven eliminating the Undertaker, and then they tried to run the spot back again. And he, Maven, thought he he got the job done. Oh, Maven. Oh, oh, Maven. <laughs> Maven eliminated the Undertaker last year, and then got broken in half. It was a damn triple. <laughs> This was a really Such good match the too. Phenom would shake off moves and attacks by sitting up. And, up, look at the belly. and it first, it worked for his character. Work for his character, bro, to no sell and to hit that, to sit up. Oh. A trope borrowed from the Sasha movie villains like Jason Voorhees yep. and Michael Myers. And out somehow, we're gonna put the Undertaker away. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Puck with a vice locked in. Here's a two count. And Undertaker has the power. <laughs> I love this, bro. Look at CM Punk's face. Look at the Undertaker, bro. This is meme worthy, bro. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Get through the table last week. Cover Undertaker sits up in two. This is hilarious, bro. Unbelievable. Jericho has to go for a cover here. <laughs> Bro, oh, the sneaky was in a body bag and still got up, bro. <laughs> it works with certain wrestlers. It works. It works. Wait, 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 just a minute. And Michael can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I love the gongs, bro. And the dead man still has life. How the hell did he kick it? Did he stand up? Uh-oh. Oh, hey, hey, hey. The locks are on Friday. Legends that know how to finish people. Undertaker, sit up. 
So yep. This was that was a cool moment too. Oh, and then the, <laughs> the rock kicked him. That's why we love the rock. He sat up and the rock kicked him back down. Hell no, get your ass back down. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> that indeed is the new face of fear. Oh, not yet. Not yet. Oh, what a WrestleMania moment. Number Rest two, in break. Sting. In WCW, Sting possessed a special power that allowed him to absorb damage without being affected. He yep. would simply flex, beat his chest, and brush it off. Now he's going to try and get him yep. in the pile driver. And he got him in. Oh, my. This world title belt. You're not kidding, he's up. Oh, he realizes it now. Look at Elizabeth. The WCW franchise player. Hogan right gets back up. up. No effect on that vertical super takeover by Hogan. Wait a minute, Jared. Jared got to get the ball. It's the Ha It didn't matter if he I just wish they would have did their job for Sting at WrestleMania. That's all. Receive a suplex or chops from Ric Flair. There was no stopping the Stinger. I don't know, but it looks like to me our camera's taking you right in there. <laughs> you gotta think people around the country are flinching. And Sting walks right across. In one championship, I promise you that. Well, look at Rick, this. Rick. Look at this. Look at this. The monster. Bro. <laughs> and Sting spit. The human spirit that drives us man. Sting's no selling didn't just work back in the day. It nope. proved to be a hit with fans in multiple eras, proving that no selling of this nature can still prove effective <laughs> if used in the correct circumstances with the right character. <laughs> Sting. Oh, I'm through the table by two. Yep. Oh, my God. Sting's back up. Sting's back up. We hit. And Isaiah. Oh. Oh, the it works. <laughs> and, and here's the thing I know I said earlier The whole Canadian destroyers Back and forth In a match context It doesn't It, it kind of takes you out But with certain wrestlers That's Their gimmick has been built off that Even though you can say It's somewhat the same thing I get it But they've been built Like larger than life figures So it works Not everybody can do that Obviously You know Going around doing Canadian destroyers all over the match is a different no sell situation than a wrestler eating a chair shot or a table shot or falling through a table and getting right back up like nah that didn't phase me you know it just depends there's 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 little caveats to it so oh. <laughs> not today <laughs> <laughs> oh come on now look at this wait a minute what what no Twist the number one, Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan made a career. I knew it. It, it. He had to be number one. If you're talking about somebody no selling, there's only one person in wrestling history that's not going to sell. It's him. One of the biggest wrestlers of all time is also notoriously known for not selling. Career of no selling his opponents. Yeah, the hulking up and everything. First, we'll look at how the Hulkster would pop straight back yep. up after being hit with big moves and not show any sign of damage. Yep. He got right back up. Yep, right back up. Here's the. Spine buster. No, no. All right. Behind you. He's going to turn on Hogan. I told you. He woke up Hogan with a big elbow. Right on his spine. I don't think I've seen it. Behind you. That's what I was just fixing to say. Damn. Damn. <laughs> then there was the Hulk up, the iconic yep. taunt where Hogan channeled the spirit of Hulkamania. 
<laughs> and this is one of the things, even though it doesn't really make sense, it's because of the character. Everyone knows of the hulking up. Everyone knows that. That's a thing that people and fans paid money really to see. You knew you was going to see Hulk Hulk and Hulk up, and you wanted to see it back then. Even when he uh, wrestled The Rock, that's part of his gimmick. When at certain points, once again, certain wrestlers had that luxury because they were their characters were so bigger than a lot of other characters on on the show they were on, that they can they they can be booked like that. Like he can oh you can keep hitting me with punches. I'm just gonna no sell you. I'm hoking up right now, brother. Look at that. Listen to the crowd reaction. Yep. Yeah. crashing in. Hogan mounting his legendary comeback. Yeah. The crowd were at fever pitch as Hulk yeah. built to his big boot and leg drop combination, yep, that's feeding it. off the noise and running wild. Right there. This is that reaction, bro. <laughs> oh, it just brings the people right into it. He probably had to cut it short. You probably have to cut it short. That's the end of the video. Probably something copyright related. That's the only thing I can think of. Usually if his video, I think there was a, a snippet in there that was cut as well. I saw it for like a frame. So that's usually what happens for those who don't, you know, understand why the video is cut up like that. He usually, instead of re-uploading and editing, like cutting, editing the video, YouTube gives you the option to trim out whatever part needs to be trimmed out, whether it's clean by audio or, or WWE, whatever the case is. That way you don't have to go back and re-edit the video, deal with the processing of uploading it and stuff like that. You can keep it on YouTube, they'll just trim it out. And I'm thinking that's what happened. But this was a great video. As I expected, Hulk Hogan should have been number one and he was number one because he's the number one guy to no sell. And it worked. And in that time period, in that era, and for his character. So comment down below. Let me know some other wrestlers you feel like they don't be selling at all, really. They have their moments where, you know, you can literally hit them with a damn truck. And they're going to get up in two. <laughs> so comment down below. Let me know. But I appreciate all love support. Road to 150K. And I'm still here in speed of YouTube. Rest of the champion world. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See you on next one. Peace.